To join the crew, you have to be a good team player. That's the main thing, by far. Also a good listener and a good learner. There's a lot to learn if you want to join a lifeboat crew. I've been a volunteer for just over two years now. My dad, obviously being the coxswain, inspired me more than anything to join the crew. So it's always been in my family. I grew up next to the lifeboat station, just living along the road. So I was always along there, I knew all the crew, and I thought that's what I wanted to do. So we launched both boats, so that ILB, we can use it to come in closer to the rocks. So we didn't know where they were, like rock-wise, or if they were on the beach, if they are up a cliff. Um, it was a really rough day, probably about a 4-7 I'd say it was about the maximum the ILB could go out in. On the way down it was alright because it was um, downwind. Coming back was a completely different story though, but going down there, big waves, high winds, quite a scary experience. So we located the two ladies and the dog on the cliff. Um, so what we did, we did a little sweep of the area, see what was the best area to go up on the cliff to get to them. So the helm, Ging, he took a little scan around the area, see if there's any rocks. And then we found a location where it was pretty stable to put the boat alongside and we could go on top of the pod and on, onto the rocks. We went and had a chat with them, make sure they were all right, no injuries, were they feeling cold. They were, all, they were fine, just a little bit shaken, I think, just with the situation. And we were more worried about the dog. We didn't know how the dog was going to act, because meeting a dog you don't know, they might panic around new people. So that was our biggest worry. Getting a thank you card was nice. Um, not everybody gives a thank you card. Some people were, a lot of people were mostly too embarrassed to ever show their face again, because obviously nobody likes to be rescued. Yeah, it was good to get the thank you card. Not many people do it. So it shows the appreciation that people actually do care. I was 17 when I first joined, I was still at school. Other people were doing things like playing football, playing rugby. I was never really interested in any of that when I was young. Knowing that I could join the lifeboat at 17, it was definitely one of the things I wanted to do.